Greetings, everyone. I'm Luke Brian Smith, and welcome to Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved. I believe that everybody is doing well and everything is unfolding perfectly. I'm excited yet again today because I have an amazing guest, Yvonne Desay. I wanted to say that quickly before I forgot how to pronounce that magnificent French name, beautiful French yeah. name. Yvonne, I'm going to get right into it. Yvonne is, is a health and human performance expert for over 25 years and through her journey discovered the power of language and how it impacts our lives, health, and outcomes. She's here to share how we can clear the lens of perception and how we see our world and those around us through the WT Freak, right? Platform yep. and decode vitality. Wow, I'm ready to hear more about this. <laughs> how are you doing today, Yvonne? I am ineffable. I love that word, ineffable. Ineffable. It, it, uh, it, I heard, I believe it was Wayne Dyer, I heard say it, and it means beyond words. It's right. a feeling beyond words. Yes. And that is how I've been feeling, um, especially for me coming from, uh, you know, having been diagnosed with CPTSD at a young age from an uh, abusive childhood. And so it was like out the gate. It was like, what the freak? <laughs> and what the freak? And you, now you coined that term. Exactly. And I, and as what's funny is, I, you know, as I got gone through the study and research and trial and error and mistakes and lessons and blessings, I started to learn that frequency plays a huge role in our lives. Everything is sound, right? That's what right. Edgar Casey, that's what uh, Einstein, Nikola Tesla, they all understood that everything is frequency. So energy, frequency, and vibration. Absolutely. So as I was going through my research and, you know, it took at first, when I first started out, it was like psychology, behavior. I was trying to understand what would cause people to treat each other the way they were. And, you know, even especially in my home life, you know, family, and parents, you know, love you and nurture you and protect you. And yet I was getting abused from the very people that were supposed to do those things. And so, right. and I'm now I'm, I have no, I get how it works and there is nothing I have against my family or my parents. I love them. They did the best they could from where they were at the time. And now that I understand how patterns, cycles, epigenetics, and our language play a role in this, now I realize, and I've come to forgive them and actually be grateful for what I went through because it taught me, and I wouldn't have got here to this ineffable place had I not gone through that. So, and also I wanna say thank you for having me on here. I was watching your other podcasts and I was seeing how amazing the people that you have on. And I was just like, wow, you know, right. we really have an awesome community of people. Right. I'm so, so I'm so uh, grateful too, as well. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, so grateful to have you here and just the amazing people that at this point in my life, um, you know, you could, if, if you, if you just allow me just real quick. Um, sure, absolutely. People can, can say that they're making certain changes and I'm not trying to say in any, any way, shape or form that I'm, I've made it to this, uh, to this pinnacle where I'm above anyone. Right. Exactly. But yes. what I'm, what I'm getting to is that the, the way my life is now, the proof is in the pudding, which means the people that I'm attracting sh is showing you the energy that I'm giving off is, sh is, is proof that I, I am making those changes. I am vibrating in a different way because those people wouldn't be on my platform if I was just, if I was the person I was few years ago you know that's five that's years a really ago. good point you know they, they wouldn't I wouldn't have attracted them and they wouldn't feel comfortable and neither would I feel comfortable you know engaging with them we we wouldn't have any um you know anything uh uh in common like common goals common energy thought current yeah what would you that talk was. about even <laughs> yes unless we were on that same <laughs> yeah lower frequency frequency, back right? then. But, but what I'm getting at is that I'm, it's just amazing and, and, you know, to, to be in this space where, you know, I'm 
I visualize uh, um, this for quite some time, creating a platform where I can just talk to people all around the world, you know, and just, I'm not going after a certain kind of people, just someone that's people that are awake or that, that have been through things like yourself and that are, is using that for fuel to help people and help themselves and just expand and grow. And it's just, it's amazing. Go it's, ahead, so, Yvonne. It's ineffable. You just got it? me excited. That's all you did. <laughs> <laughs> good because that's what i'm here to do for everybody right you know i and it's it's everything is frequency white right? so we're going to attract those we resonate with and right. and that is exactly what what the freak is about that's what decode vitality is about it's what i you know do be <laughs> is right. about right. is right. helping people understand that our frequency, our resonance is how we can tell where we're at and, and right. how we're creating our world. Right. Because that's where I, like power versus force, David Hawkins, he, that chart that he has, he, and that's what I, I do with What the Freak in my, in my podcasts and in my uh, workshops, I call them uh, freak shows. <laughs> and the one-on-one -on -one coaching that I do is freak outs and, <laughs> Right. So I have this platform where I help explain to people simply and visually how the charts, the high vibration and low vibration, right? Well, where are most people at right now? Yes. You know, with everything happening, with, with what's going on in the world and with what people are focused on, where are we right now? Right. And what are collective. we creating from? Yeah, as a collective, yes. exactly. And so can that be changed and how? And so with David Hawkins, it was so powerful because in that book, he talks about how when we shift ourselves, we can actually impact more people than if we were going out trying to help homeless or, you know, women, abused women and children or whatever. We can impact more people on an energetic quantum level by shifting our frequency first. So it's I like totally they say. Put the I mask totally on resonate yourself. with that what, what you're saying right. and it's not um not saying i know everything about that but but talking to even a, a as recently as as within the month ago uh speaking with a a, a professional um a man dan matthews that was is a, a um he's a he's really into quantum physics he's a he's an mm -hmm. expert I, that's what i was looking for an expert in quantum physics so just knowing that and that is amazing that you say that just by changing ourselves, we we redirect things around us. We send out these signals and and cause an elevation in the collective. It's just absolutely, amazing. absolutely. <laughs> and it, well, it's perfect that you say that. I mean, that's exactly what this is about and what the freak is about. And our message and getting it out there is about to help just help people understand how it works. Because here's for me. In my journey, what the reason I did this from a young age, I wanted to know what was going on on a really deep level. You know, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I grew up in a religion that was right. really abusive and, and controlling and yet told this is love. Right. And, right. and so, so that's I'm why like, you attracted me into your experience because I've been through <laughs> the same thing and it was confusing. Right? It was confusing. Yeah. And it's not about me today, but I'm just letting you know I resonate no, with yeah, that too it's, because. It's, it is confusing as a child to know that this is the person that tells me um, they love me. And then the next minute, if I do something to displease them, they're hitting me with something and causing exactly. emotional and physical pain to me. And I'm like, how does that really work? Yeah. You know? Well, it's yeah. interesting you say that because I was on a mission to find out, <laughs> let right. me tell you, because I'm like, well, if this is what it is, then I don't want to be here. Right. So I, I had to find answers. I had to. I, I'm not trying to make rules for myself, you know, with words. It's right. just really, it was like, what was the point otherwise? Right. And so I, you know, especially with both parents, again, they were in unconscious patterns. Most people I'm realizing is an unconscious pattern. Patterns. Right. And Greg Braden, Bruce Lipton, Joe Dispenza, they all talk about, you know, how it works on this quantum level and the three together it was like this picture started to form of my life and my journey and scientifically showing me and physiologically as well as explaining 
you know, energy, frequency, and vibration, how it works, how it's all connected. Right. And, and what was really interesting about Greg Braden and why I talk about patterns when think about emotion. Well, actually, if you don't mind, I, I had this wild experience and download after meditation last night and, and it will help to go through it because things like, um, I'm really excited because having a method that works and works fast and can really turn people's life around with simple, easy to apply tools. And yes. then with an explanation of, of what's happening, I feel that maybe this will resonate with people. And if it does great, that's who I'm here for. And if right. it doesn't, then there, you know, maybe this isn't meant for you and something else will resonate with you. Right. Cause again, I'm, it's all I'm, about I'm, frequency. I'm ready. I'm excited. I want to see. Awesome. You Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to, so, you know, this, it's been a, a quite a long journey. I mean, honestly, in the last couple of years is when right. this happened and the whole time, mind you, since I was a teenager looking for answers, looking for why and having so many wild experiences in the interim, like my children being kidnapped and then lied, and lied to in the courts about it and, and kept been taken from me, um, you know, illegally, just so many things after that, those, the, the patterns, right. They get a, set off from childhood if, and if, carry if on can, through adulthood. If I can interject yeah, absolutely. for one second, Please. there is a, and I said this many times before, I'm pretty sure people are going to know exactly what I'm about to say right now, but there's a similarity with a lot of people um, that, that end up on a journey to extraordinary heights. And it's when they get to that point where they're, they have this burning desire uh, to as, as to why. And then they start following, trying to find those answers and then listening to their voice uh, within their spirit, yes. the universe, wh what have you. And yes. just continuous, continually to co continuously uh, just heading in that direction to find out and, and to seek these answers. And yes. that's exactly the same thing with me, many other people I've spoken with on this platform, and it's no exception with you. And that's how I, me, in my perception, my perspective, that's how I know that you are following um, your, 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 your life's work, your goal, your purpose. Your, your purpose. Passion. There you go. Purpose in your passion because of that. A yes. lot of times we have to get broken down yes. to the point where we there's no help just coming in, no, no, no arm reaching to pull us up. We have to pull ourselves up. We have to look from within. And then we 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 start asking these questions and doing these researches. And then next thing you know, we're 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 uh, tracking, you know, a bit of information from over here, over here, these people, and it just starts. And it's a process, like you said. It's not just that just happens um, overnight, and then you're just, oh, okay. Yesterday I was just way down here, and today I'm just no. <laughs> and and even when you when you do find your your uh, purpose and passion, you still are going to encounter many oh, uh, yeah. yes adver <laughs> adverse moments. But at the same time, know that those adverse moments are there to strengthen you even more and to make you more aware. And that's Absolutely. what I'm telling my mind all the time. So that way I just not sort of wish for it and want it, but I just know that whatever's coming, it, it's going to end up being for my benefit anyway. So, so come on. Absolutely. On. More Absolutely. This door closes. Doesn't matter. These doors are going to open up. Doesn't matter. And I've learned to turn doors. I mean, went walls into doors right. with words because right. that goes so much deeper then there is even time to go through, which is why I was going to just read through this because it came to me in a download. I had been working on content for the What the Freak podcast and, and uh, workshops and retreats and things like that because it goes that deep that I could have. I, I really am actually working on a course to take people through because having had so many experiences with abuse, with um you know, homeless, you name it. Um, right. Just so many terrible patterns and self-sabotage and all the things that a lot of us are going through right now. And Absolutely. so I'm, I'm here to serve as a warning for others, what not oh, to do. That's exactly, and now, that's, the process. We, that's exactly what we all need <laughs> is encouragement, right? 
uh, inspiration, direction, insight from people that actually have been through or are going through. That's how we lift each other up. That's how we help. You know, people are are just starting to go through what, what you've already been through. And they yeah. want to reach out and, 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 and get some perspective, some, some, yes. some uh, you know, insight from someone that has, you know, dug through the tunnel and is coming out the other side or whatever, you know? And, and what? you know, and I realize why that is, is because, you know, I did the whole, I tried everything. I mean, literally everything like therapy and counseling. And it's nothing right. against that profession at all. I, I feel no. people are doing the best they can with what they know. And so me going there, there was, it was like, they, they were reading something in a book. They weren't really getting what I was trying to say. Right. And so they're trying to have me apply these things that it's like, but you're not getting it, you know? Yes. And, and it's so, not coming from, you know, yeah. it doesn't feel very authentic. It feels like cookie right. cutter, exactly. like cookie cutter. Exactly. Like you're just doing what you've studied. And in this book, it says for job. you, oh, their eyes look like this, their hands are held like this, then tell them this. No, <laughs> right. I want right. you to apply some of yourself to this too. You know, I want exactly. you to really listen to me and not yeah. treat me like I'm just some, you know, I, I understand. I understand. I totally get it. Yeah. And I think I'm sure a lot of people do. And that's why I'm so grateful to be on here and being able to share this because this is powerful stuff. Right. You know, it's, it goes back to, again, being lied to about what love is and isn't from my perspective. Right. And, and so, so what it's cool is it's, there is so much hope and happiness at the end of this. It's, it's, you know, I know how, because of what I went through now I get the thought process. I get what people are likely feeling because my mind was racing. This information isn't new. You know what I mean? Like this isn't, it's a lot of people are sharing it. It was in my face and I just had this veil over my head because I was so stressed and in such fear that I was just reacting. I wasn't slowing down. Right. I wasn't breathing the right way, the way that we breathe when we're babies, which is in our bellies. And, and that is where, when we just stop and slow down our minds and in our breath, we really start to have those things come up. And that's where this specific special story system like i said 25 years of trying so many different things and they helped i'm not saying they didn't help here's what i felt is the difference between this and other stuff i've done before and and it was all valuable you know all the whole journey all the things i went through all the things i was led to it was all valuable it was finally having a simple easy to apply method that really was so transformative so quickly it left me disoriented <laughs> right no i mean and, it, you know sometimes it, it it's like that you know yeah yeah sometimes yeah. It can be, you know the universal right, shake no signs of hope, right and then next thing you know bam it comes right there and then you're like what just happened <laughs> well in the synchronicities that you start to see because you oh, i yes. realized for me i realized that the my world was my unconscious speaking to me. So whatever I was attracting into my reality, I was bringing there and why? Right. And, right. and how do I, and how? Now I'm more about the how than the why, because right. the how is what to do about it. Right. You know, maybe a lot of people know why. There's a lot of people I know that know why, and yet they're not in the place of, of this ineffable feeling and creativity yet. What and, I have found is that a lot of people aren't accepting that fact yet well they this is to that where, point where they're yes. able to accept that they are the creators and they are drawing this no no right and i'm mm -hmm. like until you are able to accept that you can't even get started you can't even get started exactly and, exactly you know. and he, and then my in my workshops in my deeper longer workshops uh freak shows i do um, I take people through how our core belief systems from zero to seven years old impact our life right. and even our health. And that those are, and then epigenetics shows that we come pre-programmed, yes. downloaded with free programs. So yeah. we have our free programs and we're downloaded with more programs as we grow up because we're all just doing what 
we were taught was right. And there's where the patterns come in. And so now the language is how to shift those and, yes. and how to shift the perspective of those and clear that lens from the program so we can find the truth of ourselves because ultimately that's the goal. And, and, and so I'll get into this because the synchronicities, it's like these, there are signs, there are literally signs everywhere. Yes. Um, and it doesn't mean it's from a expert or a doctor or a right. whatever I kids, videos, books, movies, right. You know, people that are my roommate, who's a web right. designer, was brilliant, right. created this geometry for me. And <clears throat> So it's, there's wisdom in everything when you're looking right. and the answers are there when you're looking. And so it was like, I was saying open and aware and not closed off to um, thinking that, you know, everything and that you have exactly. to control everything. No, I, I'm exactly. open for, you know, remain flexible, you know, absolutely. And, hey, whatever it, you know, absolutely. And, and like you said, and my those, story those, was those, like that. those serendipities, they had to mm -hmm. happen so many times before I finally realize now i'm more comfortable with just embracing because before oh coincidence then i said wait a minute this happened yeah this is happening too often and too close to home for this to just continuously be a string of of of, of coincidences this right. is right you know something i'm being told by a higher right. power by, by an energy right. something that exactly. i'm doing there's something that i'm tapping into that i just don't quite get it yet but it's it's something purpose something consciously and purposeful you know, on purpose that I'm doing that's causing this to happen, you know? Yep. And, Absolutely. Yes. And that's where, you know, my, my mentor and friend and, and coach, uh, Mark England, he, who created um, and co-created this coaching program. Right. And I call it special story system because coaching just really doesn't even touch what this does right. when, and so I'll take you through my experience because it's, it's so profound. It goes so much deeper than just some life coaching kind of thing that, yes, that I and, wanted. And we also want to hear about this download you got last night. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, I mean, we, you got as well. Right. Okay. So for instance, <laughs> uh, you know, like the, so the coaching and our, our crew of community of coaches that we have, we uh, aligned with how to be more pirate group, which is in the UK. Right. It's a book, amazing book love the concept of what it's about go out get it read it what's and it called? what's the it, what's how, it entitled it's called how to be more pirate be and more pirate. It, yeah and you and said it, prior to this segment yeah you you said that i kind of reminded you of that because my name loot yeah, yeah pirate get the loot <laughs> <laughs> and i love pirate movies too like pirates of the caribbean johnny yeah. depp i can watch that over and over movies. again all of them so <laughs> right yeah, I never thought of that significance um, of, 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 of a pirate, but I got that name um, uh, at yeah, an early Yeah, I wanted age. to ask you about yeah, that. I got that name from, from childhood friends calling me that because I always uh, um, had like a uh, an idea to go make some money, you know, cut some grass, wash some cars at a young age, paper awesome. route. I, I don't even Good know if they have that you. anymore. That's that shows my age when I talk about paper routes. I don't even know if they have those anymore, but, you know, uh, you know, I put the, the, the the papers on uh the bag of papers on my bike and pedaled and threw them but then they start calling me loot uh in connection with money oh he's working there goes loot again you know working you know i'm cutting some neighbor's grass That's and my awesome. friends are my friends are on the way to the park to go play some football and i'm working by choice for you you know by That's choice i'm like wait a minute i want some things and you know you gotta work to get it yeah that in at the way. time you know my mom couldn't couldn't provide or you know, couldn't do it. So I was, well, let me figure out a way to get it, get it done. So that's amazing. They start, that's they start a calling great me Luke. story. I so it stuck it. with me and I just embraced it. You know, at first I was like, ah, quit calling me well, that. But then I feel it was a clue from my uh, subconscious, I don't even like to say subconscious, my other than conscious mind. It like, this was totally to me a clue. <laughs> Right, <laughs> that right. this was supposed to happen, you know. Yeah, your pirate book, like, and then here comes the the guy with the pirate name. <laughs> oh, that yeah, probably back in those days would have been a pirate. I probably would have. I oh, think yeah, I would have got would've. along better with the pirates. Absolutely. The, well, the, and yeah, the, yeah, because the the, the <laughs> what the freak is similar. Yeah. In the concept of pirates, were were um, 
character assassinated, you might say, in the yeah. sense that they were told they were raped and pillaged and stuff. Well, they actually didn't want to take money out of their loot to pay for any kind of injuries or what have you. They were actually a big family and they just wanted their freedom. Right. They just wanted their freedom. They didn't want and... to be structured and told what to do and exactly. take this and that. And yeah, they, I understand. And what else? <laughs> they were judged. Right. right. They were. Yes. And so that's where the double entendre of what the freak is about is that freaks, the unique ones, the ones that were different, the ones that didn't go with the social norms. They're the right. ones labeled freaks sometimes or different right. or, or right. Um, outcast. Persecuted, yeah. uh, you know, and a yep. lot, oftentimes they were killed because, you know, they, they didn't yes. fit into society. They didn't go, they didn't follow the guidelines of what a, uh, you know, a, a, a person of, 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 that fits in society, you know, does. Yeah. didn't dress like it. And they didn't look like it. They were more free spirited. You know, I mean, I know there's exactly. a lot of the movies have to capitalize on the, of course, the, the, the bad parts, you know, the, 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 the fighting the, 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 and all that, because that makes for action. But, you know, the, the fact is they, they just wanted to do be on their own and, and be free. Yeah. You know? And so, and it's similar with what the freak, you know, the freaks uh, back in the circus times, you know, and I look at the world as a circus, that's for sure. And yeah. so, um, you know, they were looked at as they were made fun of and this and that. Yeah. Well, P.T. Barnum saw the value in them and, yeah. and it made him wealthy. That's what really got them catapulted was the fact that he saw the value that they could bring with their unique looks or gifts or whatever. And so that's why I call them the freak shows. And that's why I'm creating a freak nation is because I want people to, I desire people to be able to come to a place because for me, what I realized in my journey, <clears throat> being labeled the outcast, the freak, whatever, growing up, being different than others, um, when, just a couple of years ago, and, and again, this is to no fault of anyone else. This was just my journey is, I hadn't experienced what unconditional love was until just a couple of years ago. And I had been making these decisions. Mind you, I was in patterns and I was making these decisions um, that I thought were good for me, that I thought I was supposed to do, that was the right thing to do. And so I started, you know, I was doing all the right things and, and yet nothing was changing my, I was still attracting these circumstances and, and I'm like, what is, what am I missing? You know? And I got to a point where I was literally on a ledge of a balcony a couple of years ago. And I, I had researched for so long and, and nothing was helping. And I was like, what's the point? Wow. What is the point? I'm doing everything I can. I I'm positive thinking. I'm doing all these things that, you know, um, looking to do the right thing and and yet realizing i had no idea what the right thing was because i was lied to about what love is and isn't and and i say love which the high frequencies the where we create from and i started to realize like wow that's a lot of people and so i was literally told just wait there's pieces coming and and that was i was literally on the edge just done and something said no wait peace is coming that's what i was going to ask you what pulled you off of that ledge it was this it was a message it was a, a message from somewhere that at the time i didn't fully understand it was just a okay but something's got to change because i i've tried everything and and i know a lot of people feel that way uh, you know i've i've met people that didn't even want to do this coaching because they had felt that way. They had tried so many things and, and me too. And that's why I'm here because I was there. I wanted to give up. I had spent so much time, money, energy, gone through so many different trials and experiences that just seemed to fall apart that I thought would be the right and, thing. And, and see, so, let me elaborate right there. Please. And yeah. that right there, what you're just saying is so important because it, connects with people and lets them know they're not the only ones. Cause oftentimes we do, whether we meet, intend to or not, we compare ourselves and say, well, it doesn't look like no one else is going through this. I must yes. just be cursed or I just have yes. bad luck. 
And then to yeah. hear someone, you know, that is 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 overcoming at the same time and and helping not other that people. long ago. Yes, and, not and that helping long other ago. people to yeah. know that yes, I too poured out all these resources, just kept feeling like I was failing. So I everybody can can, you know, a lot many of us can can connect with that because I too I I tried all kinds of things in my life and, and put a lot of resources, a lot of finances into into things that I believe were going to come into fruition. It just bottom fell out of it time and time and time yeah. again. And then I started yeah. reading books by like Thomas Thomas Edison and a lot of inventors and stuff that they went through most of their lives as what we would call a failure until that yes. that fateful day where they aha and it happened. They and kept like, going. Yeah, they kept going. Yes. They kept swimming. <laughs> they kept swimming. They kept, you know, yeah. And that right. that is the, the important message because, you know, and again, this is why I'm so grateful to be on here because I am hearing reports and seeing and, and meeting. So what was so amazing um, the other night, I got to meet with these BACA uh, members from Bikers Against Child Abuse. Right. And I was meeting with some of the people from the local chapter and hearing the stories and seeing their hearts and how many people would label bikers, you know, right. as being freaks or whatever. And yet I right. was seeing these hearts and this passion. And so when I started sharing with them what I do and, and that I wanted to assist in some way, they were like, you know, they were like, wow, you could really help. This is what people need. I'm like, thank you for listening because, you know, kids teenagers these suicides that stuff that they, the things that they were seeing and stories they were sharing about stuff they had seen in court and things with these kids it was like okay something's got to give yeah. <laughs> and, they wanted, and if, they wanted to you know offer some they wanted to help offer some to the best of their to, ability from, whatever yeah, they could yes to do yeah. and so and that's good yeah and I'm and so what I'm doing is I'm working a, a donation um, workshop for them. I want them to have wow. these tools as well. So I'm holding a workshop for them before um, I go overseas next month, and so that they can have a, a baseline understanding. So I'll go through this because I I don't want to suck up your have whole. Have you show. start telling us about your download yet? <laughs> Now. Okay. Oh okay, my! Fair. No, well, I'm this whole thing has been no. I'm appreciating everything really. that you're saying is is absolutely amazing. I'm just thank you. I, a no, humor. I, uh -huh. I love it. I I'm, I love bantering and going back and forth, and and yes. I feel that people will really resonate and already right. are resonating with this. So, right. um, so for me, coming from complete fear and not having any idea what love really was, what's worse, being lied to about what it is, I came to understand. I don't use understand. I use understand because I am not under or beneath, but I'm also not above. I am. Right. Everything is me. Right. And it's importance of the truth in love for my journey. Anyway, growing up from a young age, I was taught the complete opposite of love is love. Now that I've experienced what I have to explain in the simplest terms, what I do, I need to first share that I no longer do. I learned we create from a world of being in a state of being. What does that mean? Put the mask on yourself first. In many cases, we hear that all the time, even use it in many scenarios in our life. And through my journey, I began to understand how deep that philosophy really goes. In my journey, all the knowledge and education was superficial, and I quickly became disinterested. I was looking for what the freak was really going on in the world, and with mankind, because I caught on pretty quick from many difficult choices and circumstances that this was some bull shrimp. I told you I'll keep it PG. <laughs> I realized I had to become love right. to say I knew love. And many cultures refer to it as God, source, Krishna, pick one. Right. It's all the same source to me, which is love. Actual love, not the love I was taught was love. So how did I get here? I escaped the narratives and started with a clean slate for myself without need of anyone's approval or validation. I learned to simply be, right. be myself without what I choose, what anyone else told, not what anybody else told me I am or who to be. 
When I learned to love myself unconditionally first, I finally knew what it was to unconditionally love others. And it doesn't mean taking bull shrimp from anyone. It means knowing how I am, trusting I know who I am. So others could no longer manipulate me, causing me to make terrible choices for myself. I learned how to be my authentic self. What, did it, what is it to be? From my perspective and experience, it's total inner peace, regardless of my circumstances and what's happening in the outer world, because I realize my inner world is a reflection of my outer world. Right. I love the Tao Te Ching because it's simple and so powerful. It's a great guide for how to be. And there's many out there. That's just one that I resonate with. <clears throat> one of the things it talks about is when we understand the Tao, which is translated the way, then there are no words to describe, just like we were saying before, right. the ineffable. It's beyond words. It's no, no an titles, emotion. No yeah. Yes. It's an emotion, a feeling that really there are no words for. And that's why I changed my focus from what I was working on to language, because right. it was doing this and changing my language, which I can share simply how to do that shifted my world rapidly. And this special story system allowed me to plow through these limiting belief systems and negative thought forms that that's all I knew before. Exactly. And like many of us. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, especially in this time, in this generations right. and, and, and include even including fear of death, right. which is one of the most hard ones to overcome in public speaking. I'm really, I'm actually still working on that one, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> I overcame the fear of death while I'm still working I on public speaking. I wouldn't have guessed it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How did I do it? I remember the truth of myself and who I am as the creator of my world and beingness. I realized I was lied to and I wasn't believing in the afterlife I was taught or told was true at the time. I recognized that if I was truly believing what I was being told about that, then I would have no reason to fear death. I remember this body is temporary and I can't control when I lose this physical form. So why was I putting so much creative power and energy and I was unconsciously worrying about these things. I wasn't even aware that that was the thing, honestly. And that's what I love about this special story system. It helps bring these things from your unconscious to your awareness. So then you can address it. And I provide you the tools to take you through that. And, and my team, and I have a whole crew of people, <laughs> of freaks that will help you get there. That's amazing. Okay. Because also I wanted to elaborate on that a bit. Sure. When your purpose and passion start to unfold and gains um, and start to gain momentum and things, you will start, you will notice that you, you won't be, you won't do it alone. You'll start attracting these, what I like to call mastermind circle that help that will help. So you true. Or, that yes. is so true. And yes. that's exactly what, what's I'm happening with me too. I, I got, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Cause that's so true. And, it, it and that's what's happened. And so, right. so there's, you know, plenty of people, if, if people resonate with the message, but maybe don't want a female or what have you, there's options. I'm not right. here to just promote myself. This is more than just some business marketing promotional right. thing. This is, this is something that is deeper than that for me, because I realize that this is an illusion. Right. And, and, and I'll get more into that as well, because I share more on that process. Uh, I'll share more about that process that I get how it works and, and I realize that money is an energy. And right. so I attract what I am. And so exactly. I just, I, I want to be here so that others can, because for me, what I realized was I was comparing what I was feeling based on what other people were saying it was, right. what the feeling was. And they didn't, and what was interesting was like, they didn't really seem happy to me, not really happy. You know, maybe they had a good job. They were comfortable right. with their house and seemed like they were I, just, I, uh, they were complacent following. Yeah. Just following like zombies following yeah. what we're supposed <laughs> to do. The social program in yeah. a way, the American dream, that kind of thing. Yeah. 
when I, I it was the movie uh I don't know what movie it was but it was <clears throat> I'm, I want to say it might have been Edward Scissorhands or something <laughs> but like everybody woke up in the morning pulled out their driveway at the same time left right came home was that that movie? Oh, I don't like know. The Truman Show. Yeah, it's um, like the Truman Show. Yeah. And I was like, yes. They this... put it right in our face, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, that was. And it's like, <laughs> I have this title and this status. So therefore, I must be happy because I have exactly. this house. I have this exactly. car. I must be happy then. Look but at all why, the rich Why am I not that... smiling? <laughs> Look at how many commit suicide. Look at how many are miserable or addicted to drugs, and yet they have all the money they could possibly want. Right. It has to be you a know? balance, definitely. Exactly. It has to be a well, balance. Can't be you all have that way. money. Yeah. If you're not balanced in here, then right. the money is. Now, I firmly believe in, 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 in abundance in all areas, but I say, notice I say all areas. That means everything is balanced your harmony, your, your love, your peace, your. You know your happiness, your fulfillment, your 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 service to humanity, and and along with that, yes, you know you you attract a a a, a wealth, you know, so that yes. you can you can live this opulent life, you know, and and it reflects your your opulent mindset, and I believe in all that, but yeah, not, it, but just like you, like I read um uh uh, uh I was a segment by um I think it was Joseph Murphy said to make wealth your only in goal right exactly you will be imbalanced exactly and yes you'll be imbalanced. what's your drive what's your motivation right. behind yes. it that's your main goal is just money period you'll be imbalanced you definitely will so you have we to attract have what we are some balance in there and yeah and oftentimes and i've i've, I've uh made reference to this this example too I went through life, you know, creating, you know, um, uh, different kinds of music earlier and different projects with my main goal being that. And your music, I knew music that the source, yeah, I knew source, whatever you want to say, God, the universe was really molding me like clay because kept me in the same spot until I learned, you know, and, and, and exactly. humbled, <laughs> me, humbled me more like, look, you, yes. I want to, you, you, you're going to be of service and you yes. have great things that that you're going to do, that you're doing. And so you're going to have to learn, you know, you're going to have to learn and be aware of more things than you're aware of. You don't know, you think you just want this and all you're going to do is sabotage your whole life. If I give that to you right now. Right. Exactly. Right. And that's what made me grateful for what I went through because then I understood, then right. I understood what it was saying. And, and going through those things actually made me more grateful. Number one, grateful even not long after that uh, situation on the balcony, right. I was drawn to suddenly a couple of Carolyn Mace videos. I'll, I get into that in my download too, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's so powerful to understand that this is temporary, right. that really we are beyond this physical form and we can have fun. We can make it a game and make it fun and learn to play seek and destroy with our thought forms, you know, right. <laughs> since they're negative ones or whatever. And that's what this coaching can do. And it provides you tools to where you'll have that to carry with you the rest of your life and be able to spot your own truth in your story. Because I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not here to tell you what the truth for you is. I am telling you, I came to understand what the truth for me is through this method right. and that now I am in ineffable bliss because yes, of it. And in, and in essence, help in turn, help someone else find their truth through the message yes. as well. So. Exactly. My hair's falling down. Um, <laughs> so when <laughs> I discovered. Uh, <laughs> did you just say mine too? No, no, oh, no, no, no. I said fine. Oh, I, I said you're fine. Said mine too. No, 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 no. I said you're fine. You're fine. Oh, okay. I thought you said mine too. I was like, I was like you're hilarious. No, like, wait a minute. Mine too? No. No, mine was messed up earlier, but I fixed it. <laughs> oh, you're awesome. Um, I, I realized when I was doing this research, it was interesting because I, I mean, 
it was a lot. I was learning the mind, the body, the, you know, I had done Kung Fu and had some really wild stuff happen. So I started learning about energy and, and frequency and things then. But at the same time, it was like, uh, you know, just so many different things and so much being bombarded of, of what I'm, this is true. No, this is true. No, this is true. You know, and, and it just gets overwhelming. I can see why people are feeling the way they are. And so like, I don't know where to turn. So when I discovered how deep this power went on a consciousness level, as well as on a physical level, I began to apply the tools I learned through the special story system that I went through. And I now share how I got to this place of total inner peace is a really interesting story. After what I've learned, I can sum it up in one word, how I got to this, or wait, where am I? (laughs) Um, uh, let me preface it by saying first that have you you've heard of the four agreements i imagine right four and yes and d- did you know there's a fifth one that he came out with there's one called the fifth agreement and it says doubt everything that you've okay. been told i think i've heard of that but i didn't really think, yeah i mean it, it's there it, but yeah it's doubt uh, yeah so it was or about question doubt everything. everything i've heard that question everything, everything. seriously even and yourself yeah, exactly. Yes. Until yes, you see, clear yeah, that it. lens. Until right. you clear that lens of perception. Right. Right. And because, you know, we're in programs and there's, I look at, and that's where decode vitality came in is that I clear the viruses that are these programs that are preset and learned through our, our experiences. And so I help remove those viruses so we have a better operating system and we function better and we, can think clear and have a better bandwidth and connection, you know, Wi-Fi connection. The matrix. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Clear that matrix up. Yeah. <laughs> so in the one word, you know, and it's funny because a lot of my friends and as much as I talk, it's they're they're going to be like, she can sum something up in one word. So you know what? Screw you. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the meaning of <laughs> the meaning and power of this one word changed my life rapidly and it has been an incredible ride when you get how it works and how to play the game the word is abracadabra abracadabra it's okay aramaic and the word it means with my words i create create and with yes. my words i influence and i'm going to add from the experiences that i had with my words i create and with my words i influence everything Wow. Right. 25 years of looking and researching and this changed my life, made rapid transformations. And what did I notice? I did improve with those things. Like I was saying before, how fast this turned my life around. It's really kind of hilarious actually, because it was so deep and so profound and so many wild things were happening because I was getting that connection again. And it was foreign to me. And I was realizing that I was feeling for the first time, really, a lot of these experiences. You know, Joe Dispenza talks about um, attracting what we want by being grateful and feeling in the present moment what right. our future wants. Right. Well, how do we know how to feel if we never experience, experience that? Experience it, yes. Right. And so that was a pretty significant awareness that I came to through this. And, and again, why I, I created What the Freak, because people again going around comparing how they're feeling to other people and it's like oh no there's more there's a whole lot more <laughs> right yeah it is it certainly is like an info process but wait, it's definitely there's a process more. and we're all going through that process right now exactly and i think i mean if you want to look at it this way as we are we all ha- we have a similar purpose and as i find Absolutely. as i find uh it's almost like we're mining for gold and then I yes. find a little nugget. Oh, I found yeah. this little nugget, so I want to share with you how I did it. Okay? And as we, keep, as we keep doing it, we're sharing with each other the process. How, do, how, do, how did you do that? How did you do that? How did you, you yeah, know? exactly. I it's learned, a pro- yeah. ongoing process. I don't think no, anybody has gotten to a place where they're saying, okay, I'm up here. <laughs> and I got all the freaking keys. Just listen to what I'm telling you. And this is it. It's a process. Even it the philosophers and people, you know, that were on the things, 
Their research yep. could have went on and on and on had they still been alive. They just, even Tesla, his research oh, went yeah. on and on and on. It wasn't yeah. complete. It's so deep. Yeah. Everything really is energy, frequency, and vibration, yeah. including our voice. And it's always in a state of, you know, moving and expanding and growing. Everything's and vibrating. That's how yes. we're supposed to be. You know, growing yes. all the time, curious yes. all the time. You never get to a point where, so, where, where you say, well, I've asked enough questions and I know enough. No, <laughs> that's when you start. Well, some people do. And yeah. it's like, well, have that's fun with you, that. I was there. You, yeah, you grow as long as you're, you're curious about things. As long as you're open. Yeah. And, open, and I curious and um, listening to excited others about experience. Yes. Things, experiences. Even yes. things that challenge challenge some of your 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 core beliefs, at least allow them to, to come in and listen. You know, yeah, they don't set right with your your you know your you know your inner peace or whatever. Then discard them. But other than that, and that's just, just it. close yourself it's, off. Yeah, exactly. And and it's helping people. And I had to learn myself even recently is the boundaries. The right. boundaries and accountability is our superpower. Right. When we are a thousand percent accountable for our choices and our lives, even when we didn't know, right. even when we didn't know that we were making those unconscious choices, it's looking back and saying, that was a good lesson. Why am I right. holding on to it now? And, and here's how I explain in my workshops right. is I'll, I have a I'll whiteboard and I'll draw a picture of a head. And I'll start drawing lines, you know, what mom and dad did didn't do for me, what, what my family, what, you know, yeah, the blame. kids, kids that were bullying me or, you yeah. know, whatever, all this stuff they're holding on to in the past. And then the present moment stuff, you know, work, kids, school, whatever, you know, husband, wife, partner, this, that, and the other. And then future stuff, you know, with, especially now, like what's going to happen, you know, oh my gosh, do I, you know, am, am I going to get sick and have COVID and whatever. It's like, look at all that energy, right? Look at all that energy that is going to all these things that you have no control over other than what you're focused on. Right. And one of the biggest things that I've discovered <laughs> and that, you know, through this program helped me see is a reticular activating system okay. carries out what our mind is focused on and just like a pirate ship, you know, or, or you can consider it a ringmaster in a circus is our conscious our subconscious carries out what our conscious mind is focused on. Right. So what are we focused on each day? Right. What are we thinking? What are we feeling about what we're thinking and saying? Cause our thoughts are just our words in our head. Right. right. And, and so it's still words that we're using. Right. So what are we focused on? Are we watching the news? And, are we and, distracting and, ourselves? And, and right. And I like to say that to people, you know, especially that people that are it's working huge. on themselves like myself every day. I said, okay, so you take this segment of time and you're working on yourself. So then you, you know, you're, you know, you're purposely and consciously doing something. Okay. For, but for the rest of the day, what are you focused on? What are you, yeah. what are you feeding into your mind? What are you listening to? What are you Letting I'll her. have clients do an inventory of their thoughts. Right. Right. Rand, catch yourself. Do set an alarm on your phone. Whatever. Catch yourself. What are you thinking about? In thinking that about because that's what bring you're attracting. it to your awareness. That's what's bring, yeah. Because that's what you're attracting on an. That's what's going to be level. part of your experience. If every day you're focused on this happened in the past. This person did this to me. Well, then you're recycling. Those and then wondering why it isn't getting better. Right. Wondering why you're like, and that's what I was doing. Oh, same I here until I realized, <laughs> you know what, with my current level of consciousness, I probably wouldn't have made those certain decisions, but at that well, level obviously. <laughs> of where I, where I was then, I made the, 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 the decision. Exactly. That, that's how I felt at the time. That's the level of consciousness I had at that time. And that no matter what, how ugly it may look in certain, that's yep. all led me to where I am now. So exactly. I can embrace exactly. it a lot more. I'm not saying, oh, good, I was mean. Back then. <laughs> right. I was beaten back then. That right. was fun. I'm not saying that. <laughs> right. From those experience, I can let go of the of the damage that. Um, right. Exactly. It, the it, emotional it charge towards yes, the it. trauma 
the resentment, let it go and grow from it. Learn the lessons. Oh, it made me tougher. If I went through that, then my character is a lot stronger now because I went through that. Yes. And, you know? and for me, I have more compassion because more I compassion. went through it and I right. get it. And then I can also spot. And, and here's the thing. And what, and I was alluding to this earlier. It was when I, I had a choice when, with the balcony thing. So after that, I was drawn to a couple Carolyn Mace videos and then all this, and she talked about choices. Are we making choices based on fear, based on past experience and archetypes or based on our soul? Right. And, and that really, and then right after that, I was drawn to another one. This was right after the balcony thing, mind you. And I was like, and then it was talking about experiences. Are we expecting other people to treat us a certain way because of our experiences Experience. growing up? And a lot of times we do. I've seen people do it. It's, it's a, that's, the, pan, that's the pandemic right there. Right. Is the, the victim mentality and not to say because that people. Because they will remind you often what, has happened. <laughs> right. what happened to me. And, and I was that person. So there is no judgment here at all. In fact, no. if anything, no. it's discernment. I it's, have discernment. It's actually just shining the light on it so we can fix it. Exactly. And eradicate it. So, exactly. but yeah, I too have, have been in victim mode uh, for a good well, we portion were in of patterns life. And unaware right. we were in patterns and we became aware of the patterns. And now we know how to help other people become aware yes. of the patterns. If you don't and flush so them out, if you don't identify yeah. it, if you don't say, aha, uh -huh, yes. I, yeah. And that's what's unique about this coaching is our mind has separate memory from our heart. Right. And this coaching gets to that, gets to those walls we've put around our heart that's prevented us from feeling worthy of receiving love, that's caused us to feel that uh, we're failures or whatever, whatever it is, because when we know, when we become to realize that we attract what we are, right. then I started really getting dedicated about what I was attracting into my life and, and going in. It, it, now that I had the tools and the understanding, it was like, okay, why is this in my awareness? Is it, what am I feeling, thinking, believing, or focused on that's attracting this into my world? Right. And I was able to start evaluating it from that perspective and then also having the tools to process it very quickly. Well, eventually it became quickly. <laughs> right. Eventually. And Not at first, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, believe me, there was some, there was some ass mark. There was some processing that went on. I oh, blew up his phone. And I was just like, what is going on? So it was, you know, and that's what I loved about this coaching was it provide. it's simple. It's all really simple. It's really the narratives and the stories that we're told and that people are trying to tell us what's true and real for us that, that keeps us stuck in these stories that prevents us from actually seeing who and what we really are. Right. And so, um, and that's where he was so brilliant in, in coaching me. He wouldn't tell me anything. <laughs> I would be freaking out over things I was getting because I was starting to feel and these things were starting to happen. And it was, it was, well, that's when that transformation is starting to take place. Whew, when you get man, that. some, it was so fast that, that, you know, and here's what happened here, here, I'll tell you what happened. It was getting this old identity ripped out of me of people right. telling me what was true, what was real, what was right, what was wrong, what was good, what was bad. You know, I should listen to them and they were the expert or this, or that. I have all these degrees and blah, blah, blah. So, right ripping all that out and then suddenly now what right <laughs> now what do i do comfortable place to be it is when you, it when was you, when you're trying when you're when you're going through a transformation that that's not fun it's it's it <coughs> can be now yes it can I be get how it, to make it my fun. experience it, it was not fun for me because I, I didn't know, know. How to make it fun yeah I <laughs> and didn't i have know. a crew that can make it fun well see it's, then that's why you're here to 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 so that our listeners, even myself, or just, you know, those around us can, can, can take a, a, an easier, less harsh yes. route. That's why I'm here. And, and that's what I want to provide is to let people know it doesn't have to be, right. again, let my life serve as a warning. And I, but what was cool was, is lockstep with the process. I had, 
I was, I was feeling present for the first time ever, you know, when right. people try to meditate and they can't quiet their mind, I get that. And right. when I started removing that old identity of what people were telling, you know, cause you have, of course, you know, like say an ex who's sitting there saying, well, you, and they, they blame you of and course. they tell you you're, you're the wrong one. You're the bad one. And yet right. I wasn't a bad person. I was a loving, giving person. I was in patterns. I and made then, a lot of and mistakes. Then, you know, at the same time, I've, I've been there too, where I, I'll point back until I got more aware. And I said, okay. Oh, me too. And okay, the reactive but the, it's always, you know, PTSD. A, it's a, it's a <laughs> mutual thing, you know, and it's, absolutely. Yeah. And, and people are always, a lot of times, Often, I'm going to say all, always. I can't speak for everyone, but yeah. sometimes we want to play. We the call victim. that binary language. <laughs> yeah, they want to play the victim role so they can seem like, right. well, they, it, it just, it gives them and a that, false sense of identity that they didn't do anything exactly. wrong to cause this, you know, this thing to come apart. Well, what else do they, and, and that's a huge, yeah. a huge message really to get out there is that I get it because, and that's why I feel a lot of people may be, afraid to face their shadows because they don't know what to do or where to go or what how to where to go or from they there. might not think they have any shadows or the yeah uh, okay well uh -huh. they, they can have fun <laughs> with that yeah. one and <laughs> i'll yeah. be like well have fun creating um but the yeah. ones that are looking i i wanted them to understand like i get it it is a scary thing to face i was facing some whew, yeah. deep stuff. I mean, and here was the, the really powerful part of it was it was during the time I was doing the certification to become this, uh, coach. And, right. and so our stuff was shown to the, the class, right. our shadows, our deepest, right. darkest stuff Testimony, was out there. Your, oh, oh yes. like right Everything there on the you, table. Yeah. And yeah. you know what? It, he mark and adam and those guys have created the most incredible community of people because then they get it they were supportive loving it was again going back to new york and when i had that choice i was presented with a job that would have made me comfortable in this world and right. i could have had money and i could have been great because right. you know i've i've had i was too giving and then and then other people were taking and um stealing and and so i was in this position where it was like i'm this good person who who just desires to help others and yet i keep facing this in the past facing this stuff and i was like you know i didn't understand until i did this coaching and then it was like oh okay oh uh -huh. it's me oh oh a thousand percent it's me <laughs> and, and that's that's it's empowering this one yeah, that's empowering when, especially you can stand behind uh, what you're doing, you know, uh, uh, because you you found, you know, something about yourself, you know, and then like, like well, and, and the choices might seem illogical or irrational, because right. when she she was even describing that. And so here I could have been comfortable, right, making right. money in a 3D job, right. not my purpose, not what I loved or passionate about and right. good money and with a friend. Right. And so hey that looks really cool and in vegas and, you know could have had fun whatever and then the other choice was going into the unknown to stay with somebody that i had only known um through facebook for a, a few years and could tell obviously he was a great guy right. at the same time i had been in that position where i believed somebody had good intentions and Pitches. wanted to help me and then and it wasn't literally so. held my stuff hostage because i oh. wouldn't sleep with them Oh, wow. And so that's our that's our next episode. <laughs> <laughs> I got Why it. she would not do what this man asked her to do. No, um, we're almost uh, out of time. Oh, are we almost out of time? OK. Yes. So what I wanted to do is, yeah, and we definitely have to have another episode because you have yeah. so much insight and just so much. But what I wanted to ask you is how can people find you? Of course, I'll get the links from you and put yes. them I'll the, send those uh, to you. Uh, platforms, websites. So, keep in mind, yes. Um, okay. The what the freak is? Uh, we have decodevitality.com, and Ooh, what is that? That decodevitality.com. Decodevitality.com. Okay, that'll be and one of the links I'll ask that, you. To okay, I will. 
Okay. Um, that's the, we, we're making that more like the parent company because what the freak was recently inspired. And so that is being set up now. We have Discord, uh, which is a community platform. Ironic, Discord. right? Discord. I know, right? Discord. Is it discord.com? Oh no, it's a it's a it's like Slack. Have you ever heard of Slack? Oh, okay, Discord. And okay, the, no, I know yeah, that. We're, know. Sorry, we're building a community on okay, that. Okay, on Discord. Um, yes, 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 yes. I just I, it just dawned on me. Sorry about because I yeah. you know to get you know a lot of people aren't on Facebook now. Not to blame, not that I blame them. Um, and then we set up a Patreon, uh, What the Freak Nation Patreon account, and we're going to have okay. a What the Freak Nation podcast um, nice. because. And, and that's where the Patreon is actually for donations. If any, we have memberships, not donations, actual memberships and Membership. subscriptions. Okay. And we're going to have all kinds of awesome swag and cool things that we're going to offer people. So, okay. um, and then the, the website's being set up right now. But again, this was all pretty recent that that okay. was inspired. And that really was resonating with a lot of people. So it took off pretty quickly. So we're, <laughs> so we're getting all that set up. So you know, Sounds whatever amazing. support anybody is willing to give, that's uh, that's going to go towards being able to get this to people that, you know, can't afford it or um, want to look into it, what have you, and be able to Send do the, the freak link. shows. I'll be happy to, to, to submit some type of donation. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're awesome. This was great. So, I really appreciate this. Yes. So before we conclude, um, would you, do you have any closing uh, um, ideas, perspectives, any last words you'd like to say? I, I am here and my team and the What the Freak Nation is here to provide a contextual field of unconditional love and authenticity that will help those who are willing to work on themselves and be committed to themselves. We will guide you through the process and you have a support system because I know what it was like to not have one. And I know many do. And so we're here and a lot of um, the other coaches are here to support anyone who is interested in learning more about this. Absolutely amazing, well orchestrated. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, just before we go, I was gonna ask you really quick, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Is that a, a virtual picture behind you or is that actually there? <laughs> no, that's my, so my roommate, created that for me okay because that, that looks really interesting okay well so that's a whole episode by itself okay okay sorry <laughs> it's, it's about it's about it's really abracadabra it's okay. about fun, funneling things down to its simplest form and okay. really when you get beyond words it's symbols oh, okay yes it's 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 amazing it's amazing looking piece so yes on Thank our you. next segment we'll get into uh um, the, 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 the intricate details and meanings uh, behind that. Sacred geometries. <laughs> yes. Okay, Yvonne, thank you very much. And thank you thank everyone you, for Lou. watching. You're listening. awesome. Uh, peace, love, and happiness to everyone here on Enlightened, Empowered, Evolve. See you soon.